G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for Reboot Your Bridge. So, uh, head back with me again, and I wanted to go over how to actually plan the play of a bridge hand. And there's some general rules that I wanted to go over, but my main focus is on counting losers if you're in a suit contract, or counting winners in no trumps. And I really try and uh, emphasize this, but uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy this Reboot Your Bridge. Okay, so, with planning the play, uh, there's a few things that I like to do, but the, like, the most important thing that I reckon is being able to count your losers. Okay. So we'll just start with this hand, so if you just want to bid this one. Four card, ten to twelve raise. Um. Yeah, I was going to say, no chicken in there. <laughs> okay. Out this so, what I like to do, mm -hmm. so count your losers, what you do is you pick the hand with the longer trump. So, which one's that? My hand. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, you work out, you can use the high cards from the other hand, but you work out if I just played the high car highest card each time, which, which cards would win, which ones would lose in each suit. Mm -hmm. So, in hearts, how many losers do you have? One. And in spades? Two. Yeah. And diamonds? One. And clubs? One. Yeah. So we've got two spades, one club, one heart. Yeah. All right. And now we have to work out what can we do about any of those losers. Pitch them on a diamond. Yeah. Uh, any choice on which loser you want to pitch on a diamond? Um, a spade. So you might be able to get rid of a spade, but... What I like to consider is immediate losers and slow losers. Okay. Okay. So after we take, get, after the ace of spades is knocked out, if we let the opponents in at all, mm -hmm. uh, which losers can they get out straight away and which ones can't? Uh, they can play spades straight away. Yep. Yeah, so they'll be able to get to the spades, but can they get to their club? No. No. So the club's a slow loser that we'll be able to throw away at our leisure. Spades, if we want to deal with them, we would have to deal with them okay. before we let them in. Okay. Then so, they're going to gain with that ace of trump. Yeah, so Can the next question them? is, do we want to draw trumps first, or do we want to deal with our losers first? Draw trumps first. Alright, so here, main f first step for planning the play, count your losers, and yeah. Okay. So we've got a plan here, and what I like to do is summarise it, so I'd say we've got two spades, a heart, and a club to lose. But I'm going to draw trumps and then throw the club on the diamonds. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do that, shall we? So the idea of counting losers is it focuses your attention on what you actually have to deal with. Okay. So here, all we have to do is deal with our club and draw trumps. So. Cool. All right. Do you want to just click read deal? So again, what we want to do is we just want to count our losers. Mm -hmm. So what losers do we have? Um, no hearts, three spades, mm -hmm. two diamonds. 
and yep. and a club. Yeah. So it is really important that we count it our club. Lots of people see that you can trump a club and then don't actually count that loser. But it's really important to do that because that's the work that we actually have to do. So what can we do about any of our losers? We can trump a club. Yeah. Is there anything else we can do? Uh, no. No. <laughs> so on this hand, all we have to do is draw trumps and trump a club. Mm -hmm. And if hearts break 4-0, then we have to do the trumping early. Okay. So we're... <laughs> and you can pretty much just claim losing the other five. Too many aces. <laughs> so many high cards. Twenty three. Mm -hmm. Two clubs. Yep. So in, um, in No Trumps, what I like to do instead is count winners. Winners, yeah. So what we do is very simply count how many tricks could we take straight away. That's all we're doing. Um, three clubs, five hearts, and a diamond. Yeah, so three spades, five hearts, and a diamond. Did I say clubs? Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at clubs. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yep. Yeah. Um, so we can take nine straight away. Um, so here we wouldn't have any work to actually do on this hand. Um, we have to lose lots of clubs first. Yeah, we just have to hope yeah. that they break. Well, they just change what they lead. Yep. <laughs> So, I would have bid the hand the same way, played it pretty much the same way, um, but we'll just play it again, but this time just play it in hearts. I, I would personally show this as um, I, w I would show this as balanced, but what if we're planning the play in a bassoon contract? Um. clubs, anything else? And potentially a diamond, but we know that <laughs> King of Diamonds is on site, so... Yeah, but initially we'd count yeah. three club losers and, and a, a diamond. diamond. Yeah. And how can we get rid of the diamond loser? Take it first. Yeah. And to do any piece of work, you have to be in a certain hand at a certain time. So if you yeah. need to trump something, you need to be 
uh, in the hand with the long trumps when I've still got that suit and the other hand's out of it to trump it. Mm -hmm. To take a finesse, you need to be in the other hand to lead up to it. And if you want to discard your losers, that's the opposite of trumping basically when you have to do it. So what we have to do is what entries to the north hand do we have? We have a queen of spades. Yeah. So on this hand, my plan would be they can have their clubs. I'm going to draw trumps, cross to the queen of spades, and take a diamond finesse. Mm -hmm. And that's all you have to worry about on the hand. Okay. There. You go. As you can tell, that works. Go from there. <laughs> so here if you had to plan the play um, the robots have found a good lead against you but <laughs> what losers do you have um, three spades mm -hmm. and maybe some hot What can you do about your losers? I throw them clubs. Yep. After you draw clubs, so you might. So how can you get back there? So we can't get back there. So the question of should we draw trumps first or deal with our losers first, because we can't get back to that hand, mm -hmm. what should we do first? Deal with the losers. Yep. So. Yep. So here we're cashing the diamonds, but does that help us get rid of our losers? No. <laughs> so basically I really try and just limit it down to how do I deal with my losers. Okay. So we've got two spade losers, we have to lose one on one, and we can just trump the other one. We don't need to worry about cashing the diamonds because that doesn't help us towards getting rid of those losers. Okay. So. What are you thinking on this one? 21. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what losers do we have here? Um a heart. Yep. And a spade. Yep. And how can we reduce our losers? Or 
Yeah, so we can take a spade finesse. Spade finesse. Um, and how can we get to the north hand? Um, the, the king of diamonds. Yeah. Uh, how many times do we want to take the spade finesse? Maybe twice to be safe, so you'd have to play like the jack to the king and then use the ten or the nine as well. Yeah, so we well, can use the diamond pips there for extra entries. So, what we want to do on this hand is when we get in, cross to the diamond, take a spade finesse, and then we can potentially cross again. Okay. If the opponent switched to a diamond, then I'd be uh, nervous about someone having a singleton. I might not do that, but if they don't switch to a diamond, then I'm happily crossing in it. And then let's go take that. Oh. Okay, so cross again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Improving that skill very well. <laughs> and then we can quit. Yep. Uh, and we deal? Yep. Uh, why do these all have so many points? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's planning the play, you need to play there. <laughs> Trumps, what do we count? The winners. Yeah, so how many do we have? We have five spades, two clubs, and two diamonds. Yep. Nine. Yep. So nice and easy one. That's all we can take in no trumps. Mm -hmm. um, I would open, no, I'd show this as no trumps as well, but uh, also try planning the play as if we were in four mm -hmm. spades. What could we do in four spades? Um, How many, what would we count? The losers. Yeah, so what losers would we have? A three hearts and two diamonds. Oh, one diamond. Yeah, three hearts and a diamond. What? Which of the losers can we deal with? Um, the diamond. What can you do about it? So there are three techniques that we can use really to get rid of losers. So we can finesse, we can dump, we can or we can trump. Trump a heart. Yeah. So here we would be able to trump a heart by playing a heart, and then another heart, and then trumping one. Um, the diamond we can't do anything about. The opponents might also, if they'd started with a spade against four spades, what could we do? Can we still trump our heart if they start leading spades themselves? I don't know. So, for us to trump our heart, how many times do we have to let the opponents in? Twice. Twice? And if they'd started with a spade and they keep doing that? Then that's three. So would we be able to trump our spade, our heart? No. No. So we'd have to look elsewhere if they'd started with a spade. So if the opponents lead a spade against four spades, what else could we try? Um, if we assume that trumping a heart will fail. Can you see if diamonds split three three? Yep. Yeah. And how would you have to play diamonds? And the king and then lose one. Yeah, and then how would you get over to the diamond? Um, I don't know. 
So what's your only entry to the North Ham? So you couldn't play the Ace of the King. So we'd always have to lose, lose a diamond. The one. Yeah, so we could play ace of diamonds, lose a diamond, and then we can play the king, and if they split, we could then throw a heart away on that. Yeah. So again, this comes back to entries of, for everything you need to do, there's a certain time you need to be in each hand. So we, if we wanted to trump a heart, we have to be in the south hand when north's out of hearts, and north also has a trump to the trumpet. Mm -hmm. If we wanted to uh, discard a heart on a diamond, we need to be in the north hand when we're out of diamonds. And the only way to do that is use the king, king of diamonds to get there on our last diamond. Yep. So we could either duck the first diamond, or we could play ace of diamonds and duck a diamond, but we wouldn't be able to play ace then king. No. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Do I just want to click radio? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so how interested in game are you? You know, probably just a lot. <laughs> a lot. And do you know which game you want to play? Um, hearts. Alright. So what can play you bid? Four hearts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright, so talk me, th talk me through the plan. So you have to lose two hearts. Mm -hmm. And a spade and a diamond. Yep. So how can we get rid of a loser? Um, we can get rid of a spade, maybe on a diamond. Yep. Okay. Uh, so should we draw trumps first, or should we get rid of our loser first? Um. We just draw trumps. Yeah, so this comes back to how fast or slow is that loser. Mm -hmm. And here we've got two stoppers in spades. And before we get have to let the opponents in, um, we have to let them in once. So uh, if they start attacking spades, we might have to switch our plan because if we could play a heart and they play a spade, or we play a heart and they play a spade. And then we play a diamond, they'll get that winner. Yeah. But if they don't start attacking spades, then we've got all the time we want to actually draw the trumps. Okay. So does that make sense about how the timing works of yeah. whether we have to get rid of the loser or not? Yeah. Okay. So let's see. So So what now? Um, so now we have to play diamonds. Yeah. Straight away. Because if we play another heart, they'll play a spade, and our slow spade loser will become an immediate one. Yeah. And we don't have a way of getting rid of it just yet. So. So if they played a club, like if they played a club now, yeah. We could go back to drawing trumps, but if they play a spade, now we have to. Uh, win, get rid of our okay. and now we can go back to drawing trumps. So notice how counting your losers and thinking are they fast or slow yeah. and how do I actually want to get rid of them is okay. like we don't need to worry do I win the jack of clubs or do I none of that really helpful but focusing on these are my losers this is what i want to do it with okay now you can claim Mm 
So what losers do you have? Um, a club, or two clubs, if you just play it from the top, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And two spades. Yep. And what can we do to get rid of losers? Um, you can hope that ace is in east. Yep. And how many times would we have to lead clubs? So if Ace has the Ace of Clubs and we lead a club and they play low. Oh, sorry, yeah. Maybe twice. Yeah, so we'll need to lead clubs up twice. So what entries to the north hand do we have? Um, the Ace of Spades. Mm -hmm. And the Ace of Clubs. Yeah. So should we draw trumps first or get rid of our losers first? Draw trumps. No? Yeah. Well. <laughs> So they flew with the ace, but if they didn't fly with the ace, you were actually going to be in trouble there. Okay. So if we just... I can't undo. Anyway. But um, if they played low, we would have won our king or queen. Mm -hmm. But then we can't get back there to lead another club up. Oh yeah. So we had those two entries and we wanted to lead clubs I up twice. I forgot that we played the ace on the first one. <laughs> yeah. So what I would have done here is I would have won the ace of spades and played, and played one it. club, then yeah. drawn trumps ending in the north hand, and led another club up. Anyway. So what losers do we have here? Um, maybe a heart mm -hmm. and a diamond. Yeah, so we've got those two losers. And how could we get rid of losers? Um, finesse. Maybe. Yeah. Um, so we could either take a heart finesse or we could take a diamond finesse. Which one do you want to do? take the heart finesse because they're trumps and you want to get rid of trumps? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so if you take a heart finesse and it works, are you guaranteed to have no heart losers? Mm. No. No, because they could split 4-1. Four, four. 
five mil or something. If you take a diamond finesse and it works, are you guaranteed to have no diamond losers? Yes. Okay. So here, even though there are two finesses, one's actually better than the other. Okay. And it's not because they're trumps, but what you have to think of is, if the finesse works, have I actually got rid of my loser okay. just yet? Diamond yep. And I'm not gonna have to do it straight away. Yep. Because that's our last entry to the north hand. Okay. So now I've got rid of that, so now we can go about drawing trumps. And we have no more entries to the north hand, so you just, just wait. So even if you took a heart yeah. finesse, it would have worked, but you would still lose a heart. Two clubs this much in your life. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty of having rigged hands. Uh, Most of these hands come from Bridge Master 2000, which is meant to test your play and things. So that just says nothing about anything, just that they got a really bad hand. Probably show partner your club suit. Four clubs. Yep. And no chickening out. <laughs> but if you tried to guess how many card tricks you're going to lose here. Five, only one. <laughs> yeah. Six. Yep. 32 plus total points. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> Alright, so how many <laughs> losers do you have? One. So you got one heart loser, but you might also have club losers. That's true. Yeah. If clubs break four one. Right. If clubs break four one, is there anything we can do about this? No. Mm -hmm. No. Not really, but there is one slight, very small chance. Okay. Which is you might be able to rough a club. Because if clubs break 4-1, and if the person who's only got one club only has two trumps, what can we do? We can rough it, and then after we've drawn two rounds of trumps. Yeah, but what if clubs break 3-2? Then you just play all the cards in the top. Yeah, so what we want to do is we, we win a club, and we can play two rounds of trumps, mm -hmm. And then we can cash another club. If they break 3-2, we go back to drawing trumps. Okay. If they break 4-1, we can then go queen of clubs, rougher club, and then draw the trumps then. Okay. Let's try that. Ooh, the ace. Interesting. <laughs> So here, when you think about losers, it looks like we had one heart loser and one club loser. Obviously, we couldn't do anything about the heart loser, but what possible chances were there to deal with the, the club loser? And that's um. hoped that if they break 3-2, we're all good. If they break 4-1, then you can do a, place, a play like this where you draw some of the trumps, yeah. but not all of them. Sorry, I'll just clean it. 
But when you just think of these are my losers, that's all you have to worry about. Then you have to just work out what techniques do we have. Can I dump, trump, or finesse? Mm -hmm. And we couldn't dump or trump, so uh, we couldn't dump or finesse. So all we could do is possibly trump. Um, but yeah, so that was the end of those hands. Does that yeah. make some sense about how I like to plan the play? Yeah. All right. Main focus on count your losers, then work out uh, which of the techniques can you actually use to get rid of them, dump, trump, or finesse. Mm -hmm. uh, then we focus on should we draw trumps now or deal with the losers, and that's looking at your entries and when do you want to be in each hand. Does that clear that up a bit? Yeah.